Next, we're going to take a look at doing 3D. So turning our plaque we've created into a 3D model. So firstly, we need to come across to the 3D view. And if we use the middle mouse button or the scroll wheel and hold it down, we can twiddle it to a better view and zoom in. Now to create 3D models, we select the line which we want and we double click. In here we can create a height. I can type in a certain value as a height so I can type in five millimeters so that's half a centimeter or I can type in 10 millimeters and select add. This will add a height to my model. So if I look at the side view, we can see it's now not a piece of paper, but it's thicker. If I select this line here and select four millimeters and select subtract, rather than adding to it, it will take away that shape. So as we can see here, it has taken away that shape. If I don't want to see my lines anymore, I can select this icon here, which turns them off and back on. I'm gonna hit the close button on here, so you can see me opening that tool again. You select the text and double click. Once that is open, we select a different shape. Previously we did flat and we used add and subtract. If we use this pyramid shape and select add, we can create a totally different style of text to go in the middle. So here we can see we have bloodhound and if I turn this back on, we can see the vectors or the lines again. Now I'm going to select this one and shift, holding the shift key down and select this one and shift select this one. So that's called multiple selections, selecting more than one item. If I double click, I have my shape editor box up and I'm going to select the pyramid shape again. I can move this up or down as I want. So I'm going to make this to an angle of 10 degrees and hit subtract. So rather than adding like it did with the text here, we can see it's subtracted into the material. So it's below the material. Now I'm going to make my Bloodhound car. I'm going to double click on here and put in one millimeter and add. So that's added a height of one millimeter to that car, to that. So we can see there. I'm going to select this bit and type in 1.2 and add and then the next bit and put in 1.4 and at. This is up to you what values you use and type in. Next I'm going to select this circle and I'm going to do something a little bit different now. I don't want that wheel to go above this line. So I'm going to use something called merge high. And we'll explain that in one of the other videos. If I hover over a surface, we can see just down here in the box, it tells me the height. So down in the bottom right hand corner, it says 10. So that's 10 millimeters. If I hover over the next bit up, it will say 11. The next bit up, it will be 11.2 and then 11.4. Because I don't want my wheels to go over the top, which I'll show you what that looks like, if I want my wheels to be 
0.5, so half a centimeter high, and select add. What it does is it adds to both sections, where I only want it to add to this section, so it looks as though the wheel is in its correct place in the car rather than sticking out, as we can see here. So on the back wheel, we're going to do this to show you the difference. I'm going to type in the height down here, which is 10, and I'm going to add a half on it. So I'm going to do 10.5 and select merge high instead of add. So if we look and zoom in, what we can see is that the wheel looks like it's sitting behind rather than on top. Now if we can't see this clearly, we have the ability with the lights to change what our lights look like by left clicking and selecting apply. So we can see here, if we want a different color so we can see even better, we have a lot of choices so we can see what this would look like out of brass. As we can see here, my wheel sits under and here my wheel sits over. So that's the difference between merge high and add. I'm just going to make this into a nice blue bit of material so we can easily see from the front what our design looks like. And I can turn that off and it will show me exactly what my plaque looks like. So this is a very simple creation. If we want to save our designs, we say File, Save, and we save it to whatever location we want by typing in a name of our file, Bloodhound, and then my name, and select Save. This means we can work on this design again and again.